What's up? I'm Taj Mori, and I'm about to find out if I'm my own fan. Have you ever had a communicator beep as your ringtone? You know what? It's actually funny that you mentioned that because the communicator is my ringtone for my text messages. Bro, it's coming. There's a text message coming, I promise you. Okay, maybe I take it off airplane mode. <laughs> <laughs> the text is coming. One more time, it did it, it didn't hurt. The best is when people are next to me and they uh, they hear that. It's number one, it's like, oh, that's Kim Possible. And then it's like, oh, it's like literally Wade's phone doing that, okay. <laughs> like, Good luck on the mission, bye. Have you ever used call me, beat me, or what's the sitch in real life? I've said what's the sitch to Christy before, you know, like just as, as a joke, but that call me, beat me song, that <laughs> Christina Milian made a bop. So that's just always in my head. Like, it's too catchy. Do you ever get your show's theme song stuck in your head? Do you still remember all the words to them? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Kim Possible's always gets always get stuck in my head. There were two smart guy uh, theme songs. One was like super 90s. I got a slice of the life, a message TJ Henderson. Super intelligent, a fine young gentleman. And then the other one was like, I was a little older, so I was like trying to be cool and hip, a little bit more like, it was like a little bit more hip hop. Like I was feeling myself, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Smart Guy theme song was a whole bop too, so. <laughs> Do you ever use co-stars catchphrases by accident in real life? No, but I'm like a huge Jim Carrey fan, so I'm always just like quoting Jim Carrey movies. Dumb and Dumber and Ace Ventura. What's the password? New England clam chowder. Is that the red or the white? Damn it, I can never remember that. The white? Like Muppets Mayhem, what fictional band do you wish would release an album? Like Powerline from the Goofy movie, for example? Ooh. That's off top. That needs to happen. The Goofy, that, that, that's number one. I feel like the band from, uh, what was like the, uh, the Turning Red movie? The, the band in it? That was a full on concert, like in the movie. I was like, am I at the live show? So I feel like they need to be a real band. Have you ever sought out fan edits for any of your shows? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see ones from Full House. I see like me and Michelle and they put like really cute music together and I'm like, oh, I wonder what they're doing. And I'm like, oh, it's me. So yeah, I love seeing those fan edits and it takes like time to make those, so it's special. <laughs> Are you a Muppets fan? And which Muppet were you most excited to meet? Oh my gosh, of course I'm a Muppets fan. Everyone is a Muppets fan, even if they aren't a Muppets fan. Like they're, they've just always been around and they're iconic, you know? I, I have to say I was most excited to work with Animal just because Animal is iconic. Animal was kind of the only one that I really was like kind of familiar with because like the band really has never gotten this amount of attention like they are in this show, The Muppets Mayhem. So um, now I have favorite members of the band along with Animal, um, like Lips. Lips is another one of my favorite. I love Walter because I actually took a lot of what Walter is in Moog's character. He um, inspired me a lot. I feel like I would be Gonzo. I feel like he's one of the more like relatable of the Muppets. He's very like human. He has anxiety, like he goes through, you know what I mean? That's it, y'all. My name is Taj Mori. Please, 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 right now, go to Disney Plus, Watch the Muppets Mayhem, streaming now. And remember, when you finish, just go ahead and run it, run through it again. And again, and again, you get the point. <laughs>